Yo, what's going on everybody? So this is a intro to my first upper body day back after the four day fast. We're training here at Sky Athletics up in Lutz, Florida. And uh, we've got a full array of upper body exercises on deck today. Um, just kind of going with how I feel. I'm not pushing anything to the extreme. I know how strong I was before the fast, but since I've been doing keto, and obviously I just came out of a fast, um, I can tell that my energy levels are down. I can tell that there's not much, if any, uh, glycogen in the reserve. I definitely don't have the same kind of pump that I normally do, but uh, just consider this the introduction to the whole workout while I'm taking you guys uh, through my workout and kind of explaining how I'm feeling, what I'm going for when I'm trying to utilize these specific movement patterns. And uh, please feel free to ask any questions that you have down in the comment section. All right, what's going on everybody? So it has been a while since I've put out any type of training video, but I wanted to start vlogging my training as a means to hold myself accountable for a successful 2020 cut. For those of you who have been following along here on YouTube, you guys know that I just got done with a four day fast um, and I actually transitioned into keto for about three to four days after completing the fast. So this was my first workout back in the routine uh, starting off with incline Smith machine press as of late this exercise has been feeling really really good um, I feel like I don't necessarily have to focus on utilizing as many stabilizers to control that specific movement pattern and utilizing the Smith machine really just allows me to isolate my upper pecs really really well so we're gonna keep that exercise in the rotation and uh, progress up in that exercise making sure that we're using that specific movement pattern every single week next up we moved into some underhand grip chin-ups you guys can see that I'm on that first rep I'm really trying to focus on pulling in and actually holding that first rep as a means to make a really direct neurological connection with my lower lats for the longest time I had a problem with activating my lower lats and I have found that Utilizing an isometric contraction when I am trying to target my lats has actually been shown to be quite effective in making sure that I'm using that muscle and that muscle only when I'm choosing a movement pattern for my lats only. The next exercise on deck, and again, in this, extra, in this uh, workout, guys, we ended up doing eight exercises. So you guys are getting a full upper body day. Um, the next exercise up was obviously a close grip bench press utilizing the Smith machine once again. Again, this exercise just feels so smooth and so, I don't want to say effortless, but it just feels smooth and I feel it exactly where I want to feel it. And um, this is an exercise that, again, I'm going to keep in the rotation as close grip bench press uh, has always worked really well for me in regards to my tricep development um, and my inner heads and my pecs or where they actually um, connect to my sternal uh, portion of my pec fibers. Um, you guys notice on those first two exercises, we actually stuck to sets of eight. So we had uh, 185 on the bar. We did uh, three sets of eight on the uh, incline press. And then we did four sets of eight with underhand grip pull-ups. And then we moved into this uh, close grip variation where I believe I was going for 10s and 12s. After that, I knew we needed to isolate our delts as obviously this is a full upper day. So we went ahead and went with a bread and butter exercise um, that I really, really enjoy because you, know, you really have the ability to isolate your deltoids only and not recruit as much of your upper, upper pec fibers um, as you would with a barbell as the dumbbells actually allow you to keep the um, plane of resistance more in line with the middle of your head instead of being in the front of your head, which would recruit more of your anterior delt. This next exercise you guys may or may not have seen. Um, I'll call this one the uh, Michael Phelps. No, in all seriousness though, um, this is one of my favorite uh, delt exercises I have ever found, I've ever done, and it really targets the rear head, the lateral head, and the anterior head all at the same time. And um, I guess you could call these like a butterfly raise or something along those lines. But if you've never tried this exercise, I would highly recommend you do so. Um, I believe on this day, we ended up doing four sets of about 15 reps on that exercise. So here's a little gym hack for those of you who may train at a smaller facility um, where they don't have a chest supported row machine. So obviously I have connected a carabiner with my own strap 
um, and then utilizing some longer D-ring handles as a means to essentially create a chest supported row. Um, the roll that's in front of me that's on my sternum is actually so that I can rotate my, uh, my um, scapula more around around that pad so I can open my scapula up more and get a really good stretch. The next exercise we went with was a hammer grip uh, brachioradialis curl, so just a regular hammer curl utilizing a fat rope. Uh, the fat rope is utilized more as a means to be able to activate the forearms just because you do have to squeeze that rope a bit which kind of puts an isometric contraction on your forearms uh, to a greater degree in my opinion than it would be if it was a very slim skinny rope. And on this day I believe we ended up doing five sets of that hammer curl and then I knew I wanted something to isolate my delts and my traps a bit more than just that uh, just the shoulder press and just the butterfly raise. So we went ahead and did a underhand grip upright row. Those of you who may have never tried this, again, one of those very unique exercises that most people don't do, but I have found them to be very beneficial just in figuring out what really works for me and what I feel the most in my upper body training. And this has been one of my upper body pump uh, staples for quite a while now. So. Guys, there are a few unique exercises in this workout, but overall, well, all I was striving to do within this session was just activate the muscles. I wasn't trying to annihilate anything, but I was just trying to activate the muscles since I had not been activated for probably about a week or so, and uh, overall, this session went really, really good, and I'm super happy to see how my body's responding uh, coming out of that fast and adjusting into keto, where we will be adding more carbohydrates back into the diet within probably the next few days. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Please feel free to ask any questions that you have down below and I'll see you in the next one.